Hey y'all, it's Matt Thomas here with MDE Outdoors. It's processing day here down in southwestern Pennsylvania. Had a successful season, got multiple does, nice buck tagged out yesterday. So today, <clears throat> after everything's kind of hung out, we're going to go ahead, got this all quartered out. Now we're going to debone this and get this ready for processing. And everyone's favorite, the back straps. So this is a gorgeous piece of meat, very light on the trim don't have to go real crazy on this I like to I like to have as clean a piece of meat as possible so I generally trim the majority of this this off right here so this is all just very very light little bits of silver skin and little bits of connective tissue and fat that's associated with with that area back end of the uh, back end here it's closest to the spine usually peel that off and clean that up looking at a nice piece of meat here again real light on the trim side flip this around don't be afraid to move these things around on your cutting board and get things cleaned up properly so you can see how these silver skin run, run along through here if you don't have the nice skills just take your time and go real real lightly you don't want to hack and whack into these things you just want to trim real lightly come in there and you can save this silver skin here is just thin enough that you can get away with it as long as it's not too bad you can clean this up and go ahead and run this straight into your grind you don't have to worry about that too much because it's it's such a thinly textured um, bit of that silver skin so And clean that up kind of see where you got got some usable meat on there whereas you don't have some other stuff okay so now you got a whole tenderloin that's cleaned on the back end now you got to deal with this. so this is the piece that's closest to the to the deer's spine this is what you're gonna see when you've got the deer hanging and when you got this out so I like to run this around this way and I got my cutting board spun in the wrong direction for myself so spin that around the right way get this on the edge of my cutting board and I look for the, the thin part of the dried skin after this is hung up right here come in there line this up and you want to fillet this as thinly as possible when you come out on this you should have a beautifully filleted and skinned out flowing piece you're only talking about a tiny bit of um, meat that you're peeling off but this tends to get very very tough in a lot of instances so you can save this for grind or what I like to do there's generally a tail piece to this and I'll trim that off and, and clean that just like so the skin's tough enough that you can fillet right up to it but if you go too thin you end up getting spots all over your meat and you can get nice little thin chip steaks out of this for like Philly cheese steaks, or you can go straight into the grind pile. That's that's entirely up to you, but that's one of the best little tricks. So I like to make a reverse cut, and then come in and start. That way I got a little something to bite a hold of, and then just peel this right off like so. Okay, and you got a gorgeous piece of chip steak you can run. It's gonna be tender as all heck. Fantastic little piece, little thin piece of meat. Marinate that up for your Philly cheesesteaks and what have you. Don't forget to take your little, don't forget to take your little, little holder piece off there. And like I said, these are gorgeous little thin chip steaks. Throw them in the cast iron, and this is what the silver skin on the back of your back strap looks like. From there, you have got this beautiful back strap. Clean your cutting board up a little bit. Roll this over, make sure you didn't miss anything. 
do a light little bit trim here. And then you decide what you want. You can fillet this, fold it, and you can make a whole smoked tenderloin with these. A lot of people do a lot of different things with these, so and the sky's the limit, however you like it. Me, we like to use them for breakfast steaks, so we like to butterfly them out um, with the tail end. So I'll do the top side, we'll do uh, butterflies. So I start out, you want them butterflies sitting at about a half to three quarters of an inch, depending on your personal preference. So I'll cut halfway down and then half inch. And then skip, you do halfway down, half inch. And you can, you can get a pretty good run of steaks out of here. I'll try to keep everything even. And that's just a matter of getting some, uh, some skills built with your knife to uh, continue putting these beautiful butterflies out. Get them, and I'll show you these. people like to stuff these as well give it just a hair more. there we go lays nice and flat gorgeous looking butterflies there and then I'll save them on this side we do something completely different with all those steaks and now you might be able to get one or two more depending on the length and the size of your loin so that's something that you kind of got to look at and learn on your own so I don't tend to go too too crazy so if I can get eight out of a loin, I'm good. The rest of this, I usually run for chip steaks. So my chip steaks, I want them about three eighths to a half inch thick. And that's a full cut straight through. And these are great little breakfast steaks. You can cut them thinner if you wanna do them for like Philly cheese steaks and stuff like that. But generally, I like to run them like this all the way down to the tail and then the tailpiece goes into the grind pile. So, get these chips lined out. Got some nice ones there. And then, that's some awesome stuff. Fried up in a little bit of olive oil and butter and your cast iron for breakfast at deer camp or what have you, or any day for that matter. It's one of, uh, one of my personal favorites. So I hope you guys enjoyed a uh, little, little trim session here. And uh, I'm sure there'll be some uh, some more deer to come down the line. Like I said, we're going to be doing some uh, some summer sausage and bologna out of these trail bologna out of these deer as well. So y'all take care. Again, Matt Thomas for MDE Outdoors. Remember, shoot straight and get your kids outdoors.